regardless of the current rhetoric. Where did I get these? Look at that guy. Oh. Would either of you name one positive thing that you respect in one another? Ho, ho, ho. Name one thing you like about the other one. That's I like that. Mr. Trump, would you like to go first? Well, I I certainly will because uh, I think that's a, a very fair and important question. Look, oh. I respect his children. His children are incredibly what a smug son able of a bitch. Look at him. He's horrible. And devoted, and I think that says a lot about Donald. Oh. I don't agree with Thurston McDouche really anything there. else he says or does, but I do respect oh. that. And I think that is something uh, that as a mother and a grandmother is very important to me. Okay. Uh, so I believe that this election has God, become in part his so... face, I just want to um, punch him. <laughs> so conflict-oriented, so intense, uh, because there's a lot at stake. This is not an ordinary time, and this is not an ordinary election. Well, we are going down. to be choosing a president who will set policy for not just four or eight years, but because of some of the important decisions oh, just sort we of have to make Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Watch the, the debate here. To energy and so much else. I just got home a few minutes ago. And I listened so to it on a long drive. A lot at stake. It's one of the so most seeing it for the first time elections now. that we've had. And that's why I've tried to put forth specific I didn't know they were standing around so close plans, to each other. Trying to get it off of the personal and put it on to what it is I want to do uh -huh. as president. And that's why I hope people will uh, check on that for themselves so that they can see uh, that, yes, I've spent 30 years. I like this question. It's like, okay, more, you guys can uh, up, say one nice thing about families, each other. And I want to take all that experience uh, to the White House and do that every single day. Mr. Trump. Well, I consider her statement about my children to be a very nice compliment. I don't know if it was meant to be a compliment, but it is a great. I'm very proud of my children. Oh. And uh, they've done a wonderful job, and they've been wonderful, wonderful kids. So uh, I consider that a compliment. Uh, I will say this about Hillary. She doesn't quit. She doesn't give up. I respect that. I tell it like it is. She's a fighter. Okay. I disagree with much of what she's fighting for. Okay. I do disagree with her judgment in many cases. But she does fight hard, and she doesn't quit, and she doesn't give up. And I consider that to be a very good trait. Thanks. What? Well, it's the first you. classy thing he may have ever said in his life. I want to thank both the, uh, wow. the candidates. I want to thank the, uh, the university here. This concludes he took the, the high road. meeting. Our thanks to the candidates, the commission, Washington Anderson University, Cooper. and to everybody it's who nice watched. Tie, Please tune in on October 19th for the final presidential oh, debate that will October take 19th. place at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Let me turn this off here. Boop. Wow, guys, did you watch that debate? That was um, a lot of fun. I mostly listened to it on the radio, so I didn't get this kind of uh, visual uh, treat. Uh, but, man, it's so much easier to listen to Donald Trump than look at his face. It's just like these little piggy eyes and his crazy hair. I'm like, what? No 70 year old man should be blonde, you know? It just seems crazy. What's your reaction? How do I react to this? Well, it seemed to me that, uh, well, nothing new under the sun. Very, you know, Hillary was sort of new answers to things. Hillary was all about facts. So they said, what is your plan? She goes, well, I would do this. And then she named a lot of places in Syria that made sense, you know. That sounds like she's actually notice, knows what it is. And then Donald would go and say, like, ten horrible things. Like, she's a liar. She said this. She has 50,000 emails. She has 60. He kept making up a new number for how many emails that she had supposedly deleted. And, uh, you know, it's like they say about Donald Trump, you can't fact check him because he lies so frequently. Oh, my God. I feel unrequipped to really do this, my friends. So let me just, uh, it's Sunday night here. I'm very tired. I just wanted to make a video to not miss a day on the Vlogtoberfest, you know. So I thought I would just do this with you, but I am over it. You know what I'm saying? I am for Hillary, you know. If you're for Donald Trump, I, you know, you're crazy. You're just fucking crazy because he's terrible. He's just terrible. If you're against Hillary, I mean, I used to not like Hillary, too, you know. Well, I, I liked Bernie better. It's fact, personality-wise, you know. And, uh, you know, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way that she had kind of this 
uh, like overachieving quality, like kind of teacher's pet quality. Like she, you know, it's just feeling it ticking all the boxes. Like, well, I'll be a senator and then I'll be the secretary of state and then I'll be president. That's how you do it. You know, like, like it's just fulfilling her destiny to become president. But now that I see her up there talking about it, I think she'll be really, really, really good at it. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and Bernie was this refreshing kind of politician who, who, who kind of shot straight. But even he would kind of gas on about stuff that didn't make a lot of sense sometimes, you know. But, uh, you know, you felt it in your gut. And I'm starting to feel Hillary in my gut. You know, I'm starting to be inspired by her once more. When I hear about, there's a video on YouTube somewhere you can find about how her, her, her method of leadership is by listening. She doesn't just go out and just tell you what to do. Or just say, okay, here's what we're going to do. She listens to people and then tries to come up with solutions to make it better for everyone, you know? And uh, it just makes a lot of sense. But listen, uh, facts are facts, okay? There are things that happened and things that did not happen, okay? And uh, there are lies. And if you look at PolitiFact, PolitiFact, a nonpartisan thing which judges every politician by how truthful they are, rating every, like, declarative sentence they've ever spoken, okay, on whether it's true, mostly true, a half-truth, mostly untrue, or pants on fire for just an effing lie, okay? And if you look at Hillary, she is the second most honest politician on the list, I believe, after our buddy Bernie Sanders. Nope, I got that wrong. Sanders uh, was a little better on having zero pants on fires, but looks like Obama has a slightly better honesty score than Hillary. And now back to the thing I said off the cuff. You see research, you gotta look this stuff up. She said a few things that are not true, okay? But if you look at what those things are, they are things like, um, like exaggerations, like, oh, we were, we, we landed in this country and we were under fire, which apparently they were not under fire, but maybe she felt like they were, or she was telling the story later, it got kind of fishy, but it's like a, a fact that you could check, and if she got it wrong, she says, okay, well, I, that's that's wrong. When she says something that's wrong, and it's pointed out that it's wrong, she, go, she takes it back, and she stops saying it. When Donald Trump says something that is a lie, whether it's an exaggeration, a mischaracterization, or just an insult, and then it's proven the next day in the news, well, that's a lie, that's made up, that's wrong, he doubles down and keeps saying it. Go check PolitiFact, and uh, you'll find that Donald Trump, I believe... The statistic is something like 14% uh, of the things he has ever said reach the level of even mostly true. And something like like 20% are just pants on fire lies. And something like 9% maybe are only uh, um, are true, are just plain true. And that could be like, uh, you know, what did you have for lunch today? Well, I had a taco salad. True. That counts. That counts. So he's getting a lot of credit for taco salads when, you know... Hillary's getting credit for lying about stuff that, like, you know, getting a number wrong somewhere or something. Anyway, check out PolitiFact. Maybe I'll put a link below. And maybe I'll, you know what I'll do? I'm a smart guy. I'll put a graphic right here, and I'll show you where you can see just how truthful and how lieful these two people are. So when they're accusing Hillary of being dishonest or being crooked Hillary or being a liar or anything like that, just look at the actual facts, the PolitiFacts, okay? Because, oh my God, it, it just really makes a difference. Boy, people just like a bully. They like listening to horseshit all the time. And Donald Trump, for some reason, is just reaching people. And I don't know. People like to be contrary. I don't get it. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. But thank you for listening, my friends. Hope this hasn't been too long and boring for you. Tell me your opinion. Please feel free. Uh, I, I welcome your, your open uh, uh, sharing of information. But uh, just because you make a comment I disagree with and I don't, you know, answer you doesn't mean you're right. FYI, I might just answer you anyway and fill you in. Okay? Oh, what have I got myself into? All right, folks, thank you very much. See you tomorrow for the next day of Vlogdoberfest. Well, I hope this recorded. Now.